Hey hey! Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, we're Philly and Keely and this is our home on wheels, Martha. <laughs> After a year and a half doing van life in the UK, we finally hit the road a couple of months ago and have been enjoying Spain ever since. Mm -hmm. In last week's video, you've seen us enjoy a little bit of city life in Valencia. And then we fell in love with a beautiful little town called Villa Fames. So make sure you catch that video if you haven't already. <laughs> In today's video, we're back to nature, enjoying some beautiful climbing and swimming spots. Make sure to subscribe for weekly vlogs from us, and we hope you enjoy this one. There you go. Is this where we live now? Wow. That rock looks sick. Let's go check it out. I'm excited. Oh, where did I thought I was making lunch? You just had pizza? That was breakfast. <laughs> That is crazy. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> We've never done outdoor rope alone. Yeah. So what do you do? You go up with your six loopy things and put them in as you go? Yeah. Look at this. Absolute monster. Oh my word, Philly, I can't wait. Let's go get lunch. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm scared. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm proper sugaring myself, but I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. It looks cool. But I don't know if I'm good enough to do these climbs, but I'm up for it. Wow. How are you guys with heights? Look at this. So welcome to this week's video then. It's just going to be us climbing here constantly. It's just so small. I've got a splinter. Yeah, and tell them what you just, you're just asking me to do. Bite it out of your toe. Yeah. And I said no. And then she says, purse my foot up to my mouth so, so I can find it out myself. Like, because neither of us have nails right now. Oh, Billy, please just help me. I don't know if I'll be able to get my mouth to yet. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is happening right now? I just need to bite the splinter on it. Please, can you just bite it out? I'm <laughs> not biting your foot. But it's just right foot. there. You just, I just cleaned them for, in preparation for my climbing shoes. Okay. I can't put a foot with a big splinter in a wee tiny climbing shoe. Check it out! Well done! That was so good! Fun. Check this out! Right there. She's feeling a bit nervous about this one, eh? What? It's quite a big one, but quite overhung. Uh, Definitely the trickiest one we've done so far. Oh, there's blackberries. No. I know, I'll not eat them while you're looking. I'm going. Okay. Wish him luck, guys. Oh, 
course. Watch where you're coming. <laughs> you're alright. This is what we train for. This happens all the time in climbing. You know, it's just how to minimize it. It got me so perfectly. A little bit defeated by that one, but still pretty chuffed with what we've been doing. Pretty sick. On route back to the van. The sun has gone down. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> keep them on so I don't squint. This is my first time leading the climb but it looks pretty short and straightforward so fingers crossed guys. Is it my first time leading? I mean like leading outdoors. Outdoors yeah. Yeah I've done like stuff inside but funsies. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden nervous. In the indoor gyms it has the like clicky things already on it and I just put my rope in it so this is literally <laughs> my first time doing this on camera. This is a bit <laughs> Maybe so, a bit stupid. <laughs> We don't know what grade any of these are, so we're just kind of like going by what it looks like. And that's definitely not a grade that I should be leading anyway. It's okay. Yeah. I th there's a no point where you're going to fall and hurt yourself because like we all have the gear in place that, that prevents us from hurting ourselves, you know? 
Yeah, it's more like I don't like falling uncontrolled, as we have seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not being funny, but there's six wasps around me. Billy, there's six wasps around me. There's six, seven, eight. There's a swarm! What is happening right now? What is actually happening? There's maybe 12 now. They are... Oh, I've lost my mind. I've absolutely lost my mind. I'm not joking. I have a genuine genuine wasp phobia anyone that says it's an irrational phobia can just not philly i've never seen so many in one place since since i was a child with that wasp nest the wasps now own our gear well i try and move them out if they come with it we may leave it behind <laughs> they just keep coming like what are they coming for they're calling all their little wasp friends Oh my word, they're literally coming from near and far. They're having a party. From near and far? They're all just living on our red mat. Bring that green mat, don't give them an extra target. Is it a good distraction from you feeling that leap? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get lunch. The wasps followed us back to the van. Philly's renegated outside. Yeah, they've come for our other mat. Has anybody else ever experienced this? I've never experienced this ever. We're usually being followed by a swarm of wasps, but not like a really big swarm like you see in the movies, just like, you know, a 30, 40 swarm. Honestly, I really can't describe my wasp phobia. My little sister will understand. Oh my God, quickly shut the windows. Oh, I've been stalked by my worst nightmare. Courage. I'm trying to encourage you out without hurting you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't seem to care when people poke him. He doesn't seem to care now he's facing me. Yeah. He doesn't care. He's getting in the attack mode. Can you help? He doesn't care. Just swipe him out. Out, buddy. Ah! <gasps> Where'd he go? He's on the bed. It's okay. He's flying. He's flying. Fly out. He's on the lead. Fly out, friend. Fly out. Oh, why are all these animals stressing me? Just make sure you go out, friend, okay? No problem with you, but just don't be in here. Okay, we've had our lunch. Billy's put the brightly coloured climbing mats back in the van. So I'm praying so much that there are no wasps over here. Because honestly, if there are, it's just not safe for me to be there. The thing is like I'll really try and not freak out but I can't guarantee I wouldn't freak out and it would just be a really traumatic experience either way either with a wasp in my head while I'm not moving or you know you falling to your grisly death while I run away from a wasp I'm not sure how much I'm going to continue to enjoy climbing when there's wasps all around me. Okay, I'll just take these out and come down and move across. Impressive and impressive that I didn't have a complete mental breakdown while I had wasps on me. Yeah. Honestly, if a wasp stings me, I don't know how my body's going to react. It's on me, it's on my vagina. Shake yourself. Check him off, I can hold myself for a sec. He's just flying around me. I don't want to make him angry. Just let's just do it with them on me. You okay? Please be strong for me. I am strong. You got me? Yeah. Me and Waspy have got you. That was nuts. That was awesome, wasn't it? I'm just, I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna PTSD over this. You feel oh, good, I don't. Give him a lesson, Honestly, Billy, really invaded my personal space. How are you feeling after that? I mean, I, I didn't complete it, but I got pretty far up it and I was really happy with what I did. Yeah, I was impressed, scared. Terrified. Yeah, I got past the part that I wanted to try and I was super pumped as it was. If I 
impressive. So, uh. so impressive. Anyway. I meant in general, like the whole experience, our first outdoor lead climbing together. Alone, yeah. Yeah. I thought we did really well. I think so. We're both alive. <laughs> a couple of tears on my part. But <laughs> a lot of wasps. Nice cold beverage and maybe some water as well to jump into. Let's go to the beach. Well, uh, let's go get let's go get a beer or something first. Let's just get away from these wasps. There's wasps. I'm hoping that if I take off the drone, the buzz might scare them. But I'm also aware if I take off the drone, they might get angry. So we have found an absolute beaut park up. This guy's just loving life. What do you see where he is? Hello. Hello. Just chilling, enjoying life there, yes, are you? Always. How can you complain to that? Oh, you're back doors. You happy? Oh yeah, what a beautiful place to sit and edit a video, eh? Bit of downtime after climbing. We oh, should insert picture here of the sunrise that we woke up to this morning so i'm excited that means that it's the sun the shine the shine should rise again yeah let's do sun. it let's get up for sun sunrise okay let's do that i'm in i'm in how beautiful Swim. I think we're both a bit sweaty. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it does feel so good. What's your age? It feels like, so good on the skin, doesn't it? <laughs> the water here is nothing compared to how cold the water is back in Ireland. <laughs> oh no, it's not even. I, I couldn't even call it cold. It's like room the water temperature. Ireland, it takes you about. 20 minutes just to, to get in. And <laughs> to be able to feel your body again after. Here there's like a little bit of a nip when you get in, but then it's, you're instantly warm. I <laughs> think <laughs> you swallow a load of water. <laughs> Are you drawing in three feet of water? Uh, it's so foggy here. Oh. Somebody else gets stuck with their eyes off. Shall we go back in? Yeah, let's go get breakfast. Haven't got a, a view of this spot. Yeah, this is a pretty nice park up. Lovely job, Lee. We're running out of food. We are indeed. And we don't want to move the van because we've got a really nice park up here. So I think I'm going to cycle into the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Get the folding bag out, baby. Let's get this bag out. Our list basically is carbs and coffee. That's how we live. Got my stuff. Got my list. Got my water. I think I'm ready. Actually. You know I Now I'm ready. Well, this seems a hell of a lot more touristy. <laughs> we find it, we find the shop.
Shopping done. Let's get back on the road. I look like a goat on this thing. twice just to get a montage. <laughs> Good thing is where there's up hills there's down hills. Almost home. Woo. You're home. <laughs> I'm alive. Hi Fortune. Hi. I see a baguette. Mwah. Delicious. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Eh? Je m'appelle Baguette. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to have you home. Yeah? Yeah. Will I make you some lunch? I would love that. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. After eating some lunch and catching up with our favourite YouTubers, it was time to get to work. Getting in some hangboard training for Philly, and for me, editing this week's video. But not a bad spot to get some work done. The alarm went off and obnoxiously woke me up. But then I realised it was for this. <laughs> Somebody's sitting on the roof. <laughs> so yeah, sunrise is at 7 a.m. here. <laughs> it's kind of silly that we've never got up for it, so. Yeah, man, that's pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Rain. What about some coffee? Fuck, please don't make me be awake. You're looking very awake right now. What a beautiful way to end a challenging week. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe for weekly vlogs from us. Yeah and we really appreciate all your comments so feel free to talk to us below. Have an awesome week guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.